At four, police say a student at a local college accidentally shot himself in the parking lot. Investigators say this happened at Daytona State College. Now the 39-year-old student is facing charges. New 6's Molly Reed has the details. Police say that man is in the hospital right now in critical condition after accidentally shooting himself this afternoon. Now, what police do not know yet is why he had a gun on campus. I don't want to see anybody get injured unnecessarily, but I'm glad that it ended in the parking lot and not in a classroom. Chief Jakar Young says 39-year-old Joseph Del Buno is now facing a felony charge for having a gun on campus. He says Del Buno was found unconscious in this parking lot. The handgun still underneath him around 12:30 this afternoon. Upon arrival, officers located the victim with a firearm underneath him. Uh, this appears to be an accidental discharge resulting in a gunshot wound to the upper thigh. The chief says Del Buno is a Daytona State student, was running late to class when surveillance video showed him walking, reached for his waistband, and the gun going off, the bullet striking his thigh. That instructor couldn't advise of any issues any current or present issues with that student. Investigators say they also found more ammo, magazines, and shooting range targets in his car in that parking lot. The chief says he's been told Del Buno does have a concealed firearm permit, but says even with a permit, it's still illegal to carry on school grounds. We are very anxious to speak to him because right now we don't have a clear motive for you know, what his intent was. We don't know what his intentions were. He could have forgotten it. He could have forgotten that he had it tucked in his waistband or he could have been intentionally taking it with him to class. Again, police say Del Buno is in the hospital at this time. Investigators are still waiting to talk to his family, too, to get more background information. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.